I never tried React Native. I could not say I was super happy to use Flutter because I'm not a big fan of Dart programming language. Uh, back in the days, I used Android Studio for that. I didn't like that much. I could live with all of that. But the biggest question is why should I use Flutter, you know? The thing is that if you're looking on indie apps, in, on indie apps that in average, about 70, maybe even 80% of money is made on iOS and 20 to 30% are made on Android. So you should decide, would you really need this cross-platform application? Do you really need that? Do you really want to test on all those different Android devices? Do you really want to go through this review and approval process when you need 20 testers, all the jazz for maybe getting a little bit more revenue? but it's not coming for free. If you're asking from technical side, yeah, they're different. I think React Native is kind of a little bit more popular than Flutter. Flutter probably takes audience with relatively, it's relatively easy comparing with everything else. Maybe therefore Flutter is so popular. With Native, you at least have native app development kind of all the possibilities. Uh, you getting, as soon as beta is released, you get all the access to all the API and so on. With cross-platform development, you, you should wait until this Flutter or React Native, whatever, will adopt those features. You basically can't jump on that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it is possible now to build widgets for uh, lock screen, for, for iOS screen, using Flutter. For a while, it wasn't possible. I will not be surprised if it is still not possible. I don't think it is possible to build Apple Watch application using Flutter. There are cons, definitely, and those pros are with big asterisk. Yeah, you get Android application, but do you really need it? That's my take on cross-platform development. That's not more like technical part. Whatever, you can learn whatever programming language you want, but you still will pick one and use one and will use it for some business reasons. And I am looking on business reasons. I do not see need from business reasons to jump on cross-platform development tools.